So the one thing that I would advise any enterprise out there is you need to start planning for some type of downturn. And then whether that downturn is this coming year, whether it's two years from now, whether it's five years from now, we don't know when it's gonna hit. Just like in Game of Thrones, they're always saying winter is coming. The winter is coming. You need to make sure that you're planning for something to happen. And the best way to do that is having the right tools, the right processes in place to mitigate that risk. Winter is coming. Obviously, there's a lot of talk going on about, you know, a recession coming and enterprises are always wondering, well, how do we plan for that? What's the best way to mitigate against it? And in my mind, you know, we're not here to like give advice on, you know, well, how do you plan against a recession? Or like, you know, there's a recession coming. Here's the five things you need to do. But there are some things you can be doing in your day to day business operations to just be more effective. And in case something like this does happen, that you're you're more mitigated against, you know, that happening or not happening in that instance. So one thing we always promote is if you are doing some type of planning or budgeting or forecasting process, make sure you're using the right tools to do so. So if you're taking, you know, three months, six months to even do your budgeting and forecasting, maybe looking at integrating a new tool or new process that can speed that up. Because if a recession or another pandemic hits, you're gonna to wanna to be able to put your numbers in as quickly as possible so that you can see, well, our sales are gonna go down by 10% because of X, Y, Z reason. And you can start planning for that immediately rather than taking three to six months to put your budget and process in place. Yeah, and I think it's just in good practice in general, if none of these factors were happening currently to be able to shorten those cycles, shorten the effort, ideally eliminate that effort and kind of automate most of those processes and put your people to work in terms of actually finding insights within the company, being able to pivot on a dime, understand different market conditions, whatever's happening, and then kind of guide your, your C-suite in the right direction. Yeah, because otherwise you're, you're sitting there and you're, you're wasting valuable time consolidating everything when you should be spending that time analyzing and making educated decisions on how to run your company. And really, I think what the both the pandemic has taught us and some of these things that are happening currently or potentially going to happen is that you cannot be in this this con continuous cycle or this loop, whether it's your annual budget, your quarterly forecast, even producing your, your monthly financial statements. You need to be outside of that loop looking at scenario analysis, what if analysis, and being able to then, you know, make some decisions in pretty much in real time now. Right. I mean, end of the day, time is money. And the more time you can save, you know, by putting in more efficient processes or tools, is the more efficient your company's gonna end up being. Absolutely. When we talk about reacting in real time to data, we're not talking about necessarily collecting that data and seeing it change kind of second by second. What we're really looking at is operations and financials and being able to tweak that in real time and see that as opposed to going away, doing a massive exercise in Excel or in whatever tool and then coming back a, a day or a week later to be able to actually sit in that boardroom, listen to your operations, listen to sales, marketing, all the different constituent factors and saying, Let's, what about if we tweak that? What if we make that pricing change? What if we have to increase our prices because of this inflationary aspect of it? What does it do to our whole operation? Yeah, like what if we're going to open up a new store in New York or a new store in Chicago? How is that going to affect you know, our revenue or our costs? Being able to add those numbers right into our report and seeing the changes you know, right next to it, I mean, there's, there's huge value there. You know, what a lot of organizations do is they'll say, well, I got to model it or I'm going to take, you know, half a day to model it. We'll come back and meet tomorrow. Why spend all that time waiting when you can do it right there, right at that moment within one tool set? Yeah. And too often we see very large technologically advanced organizations not being able to do this. Mm -hmm. They can do this with their products and services instantly, whereas with this, they, they take months or weeks or, you know, sometimes longer than that to do that. Right, I mean, imagine if you had all this stuff in place, I mean, how much more efficient you can operate your, your business. So another benefit is obviously agility. Even though some of these 
factors which are coming in into the fray at the moment could be bad, but they could also be opportunities, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a competitor that you can buy. How can you model that very quickly and easily to see whether that's a good decision to make, you know? Right, it's all about time to action. How quickly can I put something in place? How can I budget against something, forecast against something in a quick manner to make a decision quickly? Because everything's going faster these days, so the quicker I can make a decision, the quicker I can say yes or no to whatever I'm trying to decide on. Absolutely, it's around time to insight, insight to action. Yes, absolutely. Collective can help in a number of different ways. Obviously from a tactical point of view, in terms of technology and tools and processes and things like that, but also from a strategic point of Mm -hmm. view, having a look at the whole ecosystem, seeing where there can be efficiencies made, how you can get to that sort of time to action down uh, as much as possible. Right, I mean, at the end of the day, we run our businesses on data. And that's what Collecta specializes in. It's taking that data and making something meaningful of it. Whether we're planning with that data or we're looking at historical information and then looking at trends and figuring out, well, based upon what's happened in the past, here's how we should operate should a recession or something of that nature come into play. So we have the expertise, we have the consultants, we've been through the trenches, we know how to make this stuff work and how to help you run your company more efficiently. Whether it's a pandemic looming, potential recession, inflation, any organization in today's world needs to be able to pivot on a dime, understand their business, be able to flex a business, scenario model it, and instantly get feedback to make decisions.